going high in the final. Will it be a race against the clock or will it have all the time in the world? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, I am Anna Haith and welcome to All the Time in the World, the show where it's not what you know, it's where you know. And the more you know, the more time you get. Let's meet today's contestants. Contestant number one, what's your name and where do you come from? Hello, my name is Fergus and I'm from Staffordshire. And what is your favourite holiday that you have ever been on? Um, it's when me and my boys went skiing and snowboarding up in the Alps, you know, wine, cheese, the whole luxury lifestyle. It's brilliant. It does Lovely. sound amazing. And contestant number two, what is your name and where do you come from? I'm Callum, I'm from Portsmouth. And same goes to you, what is your favourite holiday that you've ever been on? Uh, probably when we went to the Arctic. Sounds amazing, never been there myself. So, it is on to round one. Um, but first, let's see today's prize destination. Tonight's winner and a friend will be heading off to Manchester, competing at Junkyard Golf, bottomless brunch at Revs de Cuba, a meal at the Ivy and a trip back in time at the Peaky Blinders Bar, and a luxurious five night stay at the Midland Hotel. What a better way to end 2020. Looks incredible. On to the first round, local knowledge. In this round, each contestant will be given one minute to answer as many questions about the UK as possible. Each correct answer means five seconds will be added to your timer in the final round. Remember, knowledge is time. Fergus, you are at first. Are you ready? Yes, I am. And your time starts now. What is the national flower of Wales? Pass. It is a daffodil. Annette Castle was used as the exterior shots to which uh, Harry series? Potter. Correct. Which mountain range is often described as the backbone of England? Uh, the Peak District. Incorrect, it's the Pennines. What is New Year's Eve called in Scotland? Uh, Hogmanay. That is correct. What is the 5th of November known as? A uh, bonfire night. Correct. <coughs> Cruft is, Crufts has been an animal show for over 100 years, but for what? Uh, dogs. Correct. What is the longest bridge in the UK? Pass. It is a Bromford Viaduct. What is the busiest airport in the UK? Um, Heathrow. That is correct. What is the national animal of England? A pigeon. Incorrect, it is a lion. What is the largest lake in the Lake District called? Um, I'm going to have to pass that one as well, I'm It afraid. is called Windermere. What is the national drink of Scotland? Your time is up, but I will let you answer. Uh, I'm going to have to pass, I'm afraid. It is whiskey. We will hear how much time will be added to your final round, but first it is time to question Callum. Do you feel like you can do better than Fergus? Oh yeah, way better. That sounds very, very confident. Let's find out. Your time starts now. What is the northernmost city in the UK? Uh, Scotland. Incorrect, it's Kirkwall. What is the oldest recorded town in the UK? Uh, London. It is Colchester. What is the highest mountain in the UK? Uh, Snowdon. Incorrect, it's Ben Nevis. On the London Tube Network, what is the only station that begins with I? Uh, pass. It is Ickenham. What is the largest city in the UK without a professional football team? Uh, London. It is Wakefield, I'm afraid. What is the longest beach in the UK? Uh, Brighton. Incorrect, it's Bournemouth Beach. What is the population of the UK to the nearest million? Uh, 66. Incorrect, it's 67. What is the smallest university in the UK? Uh, Aberdeen. Incorrect, it's Brighton and Sussex, Sussex Medical School. What is the UK's most popular pet? Uh, cat. Incorrect, it's dog. Which UK castle is the oldest inhabited in the world? Uh, Edinburgh. Incorrect, it was Windsor Castle. Your time is up. Well done to the both of you. I can now reveal that after your after that round, Fergus, you have 25 seconds added to your time. And Callum, I'm afraid you have zero seconds, but it is still all to play for. So, on to round two. This round, we spin the wheel of continents and ask questions based on whichever location we land on. Both contestants take part in this round. First to buzz in the correct answer gets the point. And as before, more correct answers means more time will be added to your total. So, let's spin the wheel. And today we will answer questions about the continent of Europe. You both have 90 seconds for this round. 
and your time starts now. In which European city does the beer festival Oktoberfest take place? Fergus. Um, Berlin. That is correct. What country is the Blue Lagoon in? Fergus. Uh, Mexico. Incorrect. On to you, Callum. Uh, Scotland. Incorrect. It's Iceland. Which country has won the most Eurovision titles? Surely Fergus. it's got to be the UK. Incorrect. Callum. Um, America. Incorrect. First you close is Ireland. What is the capital city of Slovakia? Uzbekistan. Incorrect. On to you, Callum. Uh, pass. It is Bratislava. Which country are the Canary Islands part of? Spain. That is correct, Fergus. What is the capital city of Switzerland? Fergus. Uh, Zurich. Incorrect. On to you, Callum. Pass. It is Bern. Monaco is on the border of which country? France. That is correct. Name one country Eurostar connects to. Fergus. Uh, France. That is correct. What is the highest peak in Europe? Um, pass. On to you, Callum. Everest. Incorrect, it is Mount Elbrus. What is the richest country in Europe? Callum, you had that first. Uh, UK. Incorrect, Fergus. Um, Russia. Incorrect, it is Luxembourg. What is Europe's most popular pet? A dog. Fergus. Incorrect, on to you, Callum. Cat. That is correct. And your time is up. Lots of good answers coming from both of you there. But after that round, Fergus is heading into the final round with 45 seconds and Callum is going in with five seconds. So it is time for the final round and both of you are one step closer to winning that dream holiday. You'll both have a chance to answer as many global questions as possible within the time you have earned in the previous rounds. You will both have 30 seconds automatically added to your final time and whoever answers the most questions correctly will be jetting off to the lovely Manchester. Callum, as you are our trailing contestant, you will be going first. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, so your time starts now. If you name the countries in alphabetical order, what country comes first? Uh. Pass. It is Afghanistan. What is the second largest country in the world by area? Uh, Russia. It is Canada. What is the highest cost of li with the highest cost of living? Which country is currently the most expensive to live in? Uh, China. Incorrect. It's Singapore. What is the biggest city in Africa by population? Um, uh, Cape Town. Incorrect. It's Lagos in Nigeria. P-E-K is the code for which international airport? Uh, Your time is up, but I will let you answer. Pass. It is Beijing. So, after that round, you have no correct answers, I'm afraid. So, Fergus, if you get only one question correct, you will be our winner of today. Do you think challenge. you can do better? Um, I, yeah, I'm fairly confident. Well, that is good. So, uh, your time starts now, where would you find the Valley of Kings? Oh, um, hmm, oh, is it Egypt? That is correct. Oh, lovely. So, as you see, Fergus is our winner. He got one question correct, which is all he needed. So, Fergus, you will be jetting off to the lovely Manchester. Do you know who you will be taking? I think I'm going to take my mum. I've not seen her in a while, so it'll be lovely to have a day out with her. That is very, very lovely of you. That is all we have time for today. Come back next week when we'll have two more contestants competing in all time in the world. Will they crack under pressure or will they have all the time in the world? Goodbye.